Hey guys, how's it going? This is Chris Bradley and today I'm going to teach you how to keep your sessions organized by using color coding and then we're going to talk about how to label your tracks as well. Let's jump right in. So usually your sessions you're going to see something that looks like this over here. Just go ahead and hit this little arrow and marker, signature, tempo, there's going to be a few things over there. Go ahead and hit control and in this case we don't need to see all this. This is just something I personally like to do. It's not necessary. It just clears up more space. Um, I can see that my track starts right here on bar two, so that's where I'm going to add that first marker by using the plus sign. Moving forward, I'm not going to use that plus sign anymore, and I'll show you why. I'm going to use the, the scissors, which is much quicker, and in case you don't know how to do that, that's just command, and it'll turn this into scissors as long as that is on scissors right there. So before we jump in, I just want to give a little shout out to my friend Emmalyn White. She's singing the vocals on this. Uh, we co-wrote the track together called Good On You, and I produced it, and I thought it would be something good to use as a little example as we go through and do some color coding today. So let's jump in, and you'll see what I do and why. Starting with red for intro. Here we go. <laughs> doesn't feel great, does it? When something won't fit you just right I'll tell you what, let me try a couple things on you So what if it's not what you're used to? But I think I know we can fix all of this Yeah, I think I know I look good on you Get you feeling like so brand new You wanna show it off all night long Make you wonder what you've been doing wrong Yeah, you'll be so in style Dress it up with that smile And no one's seen in a while Cause she's bringing you down Yeah, she's something that you just have Girl, I look good on you Well, have everybody looking Start a new trend nobody's ever seen Or be the best kind of different The kind of wanna be, yeah So tell you what, let me try a couple things on you So what if it's not you used to just open your mind and your eyes and you'll see what you need to change into i look good on you get you feeling like so okay so in this case i already know now that my course is eight bars so i'm just gonna go ahead and snip that again i know nothing much has changed and uh by the way to get to that color coding thing with a quick key it is option c option c option c there we go bringing you down is just something that you just stop grow i look good on you on the way out. So here's another thing. You can actually click on these and label them. I've kind of got to a point where I know my colors now, so it's it's just like I don't need to write verse, chorus, bridge. Um, I might do it if I'm creating a session for somebody else that doesn't necessarily know what my colors mean, but for me, I know what they mean. Uh, the, the choruses are like a bluish purple, and I made these darker because they're a post-chorus. That's my bridge right there. And you'll notice that um, I actually snip in the middle right at four, even if it, it's still the chorus. Like in this case, it is a, an eight bar chorus, but I just snip in the middle because visually I kind of like to see what's going on, but I still kept it all the same color so that I know that we're still on the chorus, but I know that's my halfway point right there. So, okay, let's move on to the tracks. You'll notice that I've got numbers here next to all the tracks. The reason I do that, it, it actually started when I was composing for a production library and the mix engineer asked us to do that. And, uh, you know, I got this chart with all these numbers next to all the file or the, you know, the tracks. And I was like, that seems like a lot of work, but you get used to it, first of all. And secondly, here's why it's amazing. When somebody else, when you export all these files and send them to someone, they're going to come through so neat. All the tens and nines and eights, you know, they're just going to line up perfectly and they're going to love you for it. 
And um, even though I didn't do this track for that library per se, I, moving forward, I, I'm gonna keep using this number system because it just keeps everything nice and organized. Even if you don't use numbers, label your tracks properly because there's nothing worse than like poor file management and someone opens a session or maybe you go to open a session and it's like audio 54 hit two like that's no and ain't nobody got time for that so just label your tracks and uh here we go all my lead vocals anything that's not bgv for the most part lead stacks um even octaves you know it's the same thing i i'm gonna go pink on those that's what I'll do there and then on BGVs I'm gonna go purple like the lightest purple it's probably there my ad libs I keep them like this dark pink and then right here I've got some more these are like vocal um, effects like the vocal effects you hear in the beginning I'm still gonna categorize that with vocals though so I'm gonna put them in the pink and purple category just make them like a darker purple so they don't look like the other backgrounds and then same thing for this vocal chant because it still is a vocal and it falls into the vocals category so so far all pink all purple that's all my <clears throat> lead vocals background vocals and uh ad-libs so moving on um we've got a lead echo synth i'm pretty sure it's high i'm gonna solo it out so i can hear it yeah that's pretty high so I'm gonna go ahead and make that the lightest color in this section right here. You can use any color you want, but I find that the higher the frequency, the lighter the color, it kind of helps me to keep everything organized. So these bells, for example, are, they're not quite as high. Oh, they are actually. So I'm actually gonna put those the same color. Here's a little quick tip. Highlight both at the same time, and when you go to use your color code, it'll just automatically tell you where to go. Um, but this synth right here, I think it was warmer. Yeah, it's not super warm, but it's definitely not as, as high on the frequency uh, spectrum as the other two. So I'm just going to pick the next one down. So it's just slightly darker. The sparkle synth right here. Let's see. Same thing. I'm going to say that that's not like super bright and high, but it's not super low. It's kind of in the middle. Let's go right there. This, I've already tiled it warm pad, so I know it's darker. Let's just get down there. It's darker. Uh, guitars for me are always green. Basses are always dark green, and I know I've got three. I've got an 808, a pulse bass, and a synth pluck. Um, and I don't really need them to be different dark greens. I'll just put them all, like, right there. And then all my one-shot drums. Kick, snare, clap, crash. Anything one-shot gets is red. This jingle bell right here, we'll make that red. But anything that's like a, a topper or percussive element or loopy, you know, tambourine, shaker, uh, congas, you know, something like that, I'm going to make them, uh-oh, I don't know what that is, get out of here. Uh, I'm going to make them orange. My fills are always like this dark red. I only have one in this case. And then my reverse stuff is yellow. Um, I tend to make anything that I think falls into uh, either effects or transition stuff it is yellow for me. So that could be anything from a reverse to a uh, transitional element like white noise or um, a whoosh or a slide or a riser. Um, many things fall into the yellow category. The non-tonal things mostly. And, uh, and there you go. So now looking at this, look at how organized that is and it's like if you want to like chop something and fly it for example let's duplicate this guitar track uh command d and let's say i want to grab this i'm going to highlight it and just go i want to pull that over to the course over here okay pull it over to the next course over here it's just really easy because i can see it and it just locks right in you know so anyways i'm not really going to do that i don't need to do that in this case but um, there's many reasons to keep things color coded. It just keeps you organized for me. It's like my sanity. I actually do this as I build the track and I find that if I don't do it, it throws off my workflow so much that it actually like hinders my ability to create at this point.